Hey everybody, Mike Lovelace with Carolina Blue Smoke Barbecue and Outdoor Cooking. We got the RT700, our pellet grill is fired up to 275 at this point. And we're doing some armadillo eggs, but we're doing a little spin on it. Last time we did sausage on the outside. This time we're doing a hamburger on the outside, wrapped in bacon. And then on the inside of this, we got cream cheese, cheese, and sausage mixed, stuffed inside that jalapeno pepper. Come with us and hang out. Grab your favorite beverage, and let's watch this, and let's see how they turn out. I think it's going to turn out good. Those last ones had a little bit of a kick. These are going to have, or I had a lot of kick. These are going to have a little bit less of a kick. We use regular sausage instead of hot sausage. So thank you. Please like and subscribe. All right, these are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some jalapenos, some Philadelphia cream cheese, or you can get a knockoff brand, Nisa's uh, country sausage or your favorite sausage. Um, I've got some 93.7 uh, hamburger meat, some Kinder's fajita, and some sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce hues. Uh, I'm doing low carb, so I needed this, this for myself. Um, again, you can get whatever. We also have some four cheese Mexican cheese. You use a handful of that. Some Malcolm Reed Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub. Some applewood smoked bacon. It's time now to prep these jalapenos. We're going to cut the stems off these. Some people leave them on and put the hamburger around it at the end and the bacon, but uh, I like to cut it. We're going to cut a T in this. We're going to cut it a little bit um, sideways uh, and then long ways. And then we're going to spoon this out uh, to get all those veins out, out of it. You know, the C's really aren't, aren't the hot part. It's the um, veins on the inside, which is the hottest, uh, will create the heat of it. I did these jalapenos two ways. On one way, I cut the end off, which you saw in the first one. Other ones, I leave the, the end on and just clean out the inside and rinse these off so that you get all the seeds out of them. We're going to smoke these for about 30 to 40 minutes at uh, two, uh, 250 and just try to get some smoke on these. Um, this will also make them a little bit easier for us putting our mixture on the inside of them. So uh, again, you don't have to do it this way. Uh, I've seen a couple other pit master do it, do it this way and I like it because it, it makes the jalapenos easier to work with. While the jalapenos are smoking, we're gonna uh, fry up some sausage here. Just wanna you know, break it up really good, get it in smaller pieces. We're gonna mix this with the cream cheese, add a little bit of cheese in with it and some seasoning. All right, now we're gonna take your favorite rub. I've used here some fajita blend. Uh, kinders that I'd got at Sam's Club. Just shake it on the very top of it. And also I put that in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften up that cream cheese. Then we're gonna use a, a handful of your favorite uh, cheese we're gonna put in there. I use the Mexican cheese, four cheese. And then we just mix this up really well with the sausage that we cooked. And uh, it's just gonna be nice and, and soft and melted and just uh, stir it up really well. I put mine in the freezer, I mean the refrigerator and uh, and then when we're ready to stuff these jalapenos, it's going to be a little more firm and easier to work with. And then I went back and put a little bit of Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub on top of it. All right, it's been 30 minutes now and these jalapenos are nice and smoked and now they're very easy to work with. Um, now you can do this several ways. You can put a, you know, a less amount inside of these, of this mixture and close it up completely. Uh, I did it both ways here. Uh, I like that, you know, there's more than enough cream cheese, sausage, and cheese in here uh, to fill up these six jalapenos. Uh, in fact, I like making extra on this because you can, if you're able to eat chips or even crackers with this, it's great on that once it cools down, you can heat it back up. Um, but that's what I do with the extra on this. But again, you're just gonna pack these full and uh, once you do all six of them, we're gonna put the hamburger on the outside of it. All right, last time we did armadillo eggs, we put sausage on the outside and didn't put sausages on the inside. So this time is a little bit different. That's the whole reason for this video. Um, we really like this. It wasn't quite as hot as the, the previous with hot sausage. But again, you wanna uh, pound out this, uh, roll out this hamburger and just, you know, encase the jalapeno and the cream cheese and sausage on the inside with this, just patty it out. You know, you can use wax paper or you know, mixing board, whatever you have, 
and just wrap this around in case it really good because in case that cheese wants to come out uh, now a heads up i only showed you one pound of hamburger to the beginning it took about two and a half pounds to do these six um these six armadillo eggs all right now we're taking these uh, balls that we've created you know the encased jalapenos and you're going to wrap them with bacon it takes about two pieces sometimes even three pieces per one to get it wrapped now you're not going to be able to i mean i guess you could wrap every single bit of it but hey if there's you know sections that's not wrapped you know just a little bit showing on the on the beef part of the hamburger part it's no big deal uh, again you want to do this for all six of them that you did um, and um, yeah you, you when you cook it it's going to get taut and bring it in now in saying this i did use the 93 7 hamburger i you know if you're not worried about calories and you're not on a diet i'd probably go with the 80 20 or 85 15. Uh, these were pretty lean because there wasn't a lot of fat in this so we hit these armadillo eggs with a little bit of killer hogs hot rub on the top use whatever your favorite rub is uh, we did this for 45 minutes at 250 and then another 45 minutes at 275 so an hour and a half total we'll show you what these looks like what they look like after 45 minutes all right it's been 45 minutes at 250 we're going to bump it up to 275 for another 45 minutes All right, it's been an uh, hour and a half total now. Last 45 minutes was at uh, 275. After an hour and a half, this is time to glaze them with your favorite barbecue sauce. Again, I was using the sugar-free uh, because we're trying to lose some weight doing keto, low carb. Uh, you don't have to. That's another thing too on these. That's the that's great thing about it. You can do half of them one way, half of them without. Um, we left one of them without for our son because he doesn't like barbecue sauce. But again, uh, baste these and, and just cook them for about 10 more minutes. All right, these are done. Uh, it's been 10 more minutes. We're getting ready to take them inside, let them cool down a little bit, and then cut them open and give them a shot. These armadillo eggs smell incredible. I was so ready to cut them open. And when you cut them open, um, I'm telling you, I mean, you can smell them already, but man, the goodness, the smoke ring on the outside of them, um, you know, the bacon, that's all going to be up to what you like and how crisp you want it. You know, you probably could have went, like I said earlier, 275 the whole time and make it a little more taut, a little more crisp. Um, but man, look at the inside of these. We cut one sideways and then long ways. And, uh, and man, they turned out so good. So we're getting ready to taste test these right now. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're getting ready to try this thing, this armadillo egg. Smells incredible. Nice smoke smell smell to it. Ugh. Let's try this thing out. Okay, you can see the smoke ring. And this is probably gonna be a mess, but let's let's try it out. Hmm. That is a mill itself. Wow. It's got a little bit of that smoke on the outside, that sugar-free uh, sauce I put on the outside because I'm doing low carb, but that crunch of that uh, jalapeno in the middle, that sausage and, and uh, cream cheese, that seasoning, a little bit of kick on the back end of it. I'm going in for number two here. Mmm. This is a twist. This is a twist on the other armadillo eggs. To be honest with you, I like this, I think a little bit better. Uh, use your own sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's, homemade sauce, whatever you want to. You can do it without sauce as well. There's one on here that it was pictures of and video of. We didn't put sauce on, that's for our son. It's not too hot, but it's just a little bit of hint of 
heat on the back end of this. So definitely try this one out. Have you ever tried it with hamburger on the outside and sausage on the inside? Last time we did it, we did sausage on the outside, just cheese and cream cheese in the middle of the jalapeno. But hey, this is one to try out. Definitely for football season, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, easy cook, try it out. Thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment to Carolina Blue Smoke Barbecue.